Hey, how's it going? I'm Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and I wanted to create a tutorial that went over a ton of motion tracking tips and tricks, just best workflows and everything. Um, I kind of created this weird thing from a scene. Let's check it out. <laughs> So now I will show you the way of the tracking, mi brother. Bruh. I'm gonna show you how I did that, how to do other motion tracking things, uh, some examples, what works, what doesn't work. I really wanted to create something that went over from start to finish the entire project. So I wanted to create a tutorial that showed you how to set up your shot, how to pick your camera, or if you don't have a camera, even you can use your cell phone, how to use that to even get a good track, how to shoot it. I'm gonna show you how to edit your footage either in a third-party software or within Cinema 4D, how to track it at the 2D trackers, auto and manual, how to 3D solve your camera, and then how to reconstruct your scene with a mesh so that you know exactly where things are in your scene. One thing I definitely wanted to make sure I showed, and I had a lot of questions about it, was I wanted to show how to composite your 3D objects actually into your footage and how to render that out. And I'm gonna use Redshift, and with Redshift, it's super easy. If you don't have Redshift, I will also show you how to do it with the physical renderer in Cinema 4D. And then we'll probably take it into After Effects, add some post effects onto it, and be done with it. So we're gonna go from the very beginning to the very end of this process for motion tracking. That's really all I want, I wanted to, present something that was flushed out. It wasn't like, here's a small piece of the puzzle. I wanted to present every piece of the puzzle so you could actually start putting it together yourself. Go out there right now with Cinema 4D, shoot something with your phone if you needed to, track it, render it, put it together. Boom. <laughs> 